Hello everybody this is Ravi and I am going to explain you today interview topic 34 that is how to programming to derive the treatment emergent adverse events most of the clinical sales programmers are faced to derive the clinic uh, treatment emergent a is in the program as well as in the interviews also everybody is asking about treatment emergent a because it is a key factor to derive uh, most of the tables and listings okay so today's session i am going to explain you how to program to derive this treatment emergent a before that we should know what is treatment emergent a treatment emergent a within the name you can find out what is this it is emergent uh, from the treatment treatment emergent a is the treatment emergent adverse events are undesirable events not present prior to the medical treatment or an already present in the event that worsen either in intensity or frequency follow the treatment means nothing but before uh, taking the medication our study drug if the subject has an adverse event if it is in the uh, some low intensity and it is intensity was worsen after the treatment we can call it as treatment emergent a as well as after the taking the our medication study medication if the subject having any adverse events occur during the treatment we can call it as adverse event most of the programmers know after the treatment if the subject having adverse event we can easily write programming but before it was there and worsen after this treatment how to write this programming most of the programmers don't know how to write this one and many interviews are focusing on this derivation only so i can uh, explain you how to derive how can write the programming in real time as well as uh, how to explain to the interview to derivation of this treatment emergent day here you can see we have an uh, intensity like mild moderate severe and life threatening or disabled ae or death related to adverse event these are the five categories major five categories they are mentioned in the um, programming or any protocol as per the cd standard so we are giving the numbering to each one like you know mild one moderate two severe three life threatening four and death related to adverse events are five this is the numbering actually uh, generally we are going to give so remember this all the grading numbers because the, uh, while using this grading we can derive the treatment emergent adverse events so you can see in the real time data set you can find how the grading toxicity grade was given okay and here you can see the easy way of programming first thing is whether the subject treatment uh, was happening and the adverse events was happening after the treatment taking date generally we can consider those adverse events as adverse events here you can see all these adverse event adverse event headache for the particular subject AEST DTM nothing but adverse event start date is greater than the treatment start date here 9 o'clock the subject was taking the drug and 9 10 the adverse event was happening so we can consider this adverse event is treatment emergent AE as per that you can see not missing of uh, adverse event start date not missing of treatment and this treatment start date in this adverse event start date is greater than or equal to treatment start date we can consider this adverse events as treatment emergent a flag equal to y this is the general definition of every uh, protocol and second thing is not missing of AE NDT and not missing of treatment start date and AE NDT less than treatment start date nothing but if the adverse event ended before the treatment started for example uh, today we are going to start our treatment and yesterday only the subject has a end date was there so end date was uh, adverse event end date was completed before taking the treatment so we are uh, the treatment is not responsible for the adverse event so those type of adverse event we can are not call it as treatment emergent a treatment emergent a nothing but after the treatment only we can consider if the a ended is there before treatment started we can consider we are not considering treatment emergent a here you can see treatment start date is nine o'clock and end date is is three only fourth we are giving medication and third only the adverse event was ended so we are not considering it as treatment emergent a 
and here you can see <coughs> one variable underscore fa underscore intensity we are creating one uh, separate data set for the which adverse events has a intensity before and that was increased during the study right here you can see headache has mild intensity before taking the treatment and it was moderate moderate after taking the treatment so we have created one variable like uh when uh, the adverse events are changing their intensity which adverse events are changing their inten intensity for which subject we can create one variable and we can cross compare with this one here you can see how to create this variable in one the data set in severity we are giving memory as per c disk and we can cross compare with this one intensity return to everything and we can cross compare with the a intensity whether the intensity was greater than the prior uh, taking the drug intensity we can call it as treatment emergent a here after taking the drug moderate is 2 2 greater than 1 means we can consider it as intensity was increased during the study treatment so we can call it as treatment emergent a for this one we created one separate data set otherwise within the program also we can handle in the next step i'll show you here you can see the a a and date not missing i a and it greater than treatment started and not missing a and date and the severity is severity order 1 2 3 we are giving severity order is greater than this order is greater than this order here these two mild intensity was latest one was uh, written to everything and we can cross compare with the a is severity to a is CVRT N order. Here, this was a post treatment severities are compared with the pre treatment severities. If the intensity was increased, then we can call it as treatment emergent AE. Here, you can write A intensity greater than A SVIN, then do treatment emergent flag equal to Y. Here, some changes here. Mild is there and severe is there before taking the treatment. Severe is the latest one. So, severe we can cross compare with the post treatment values. And severe is severe only. So, there is no intensity change in the adverse events. So, we are not calling it as treatment emergent AE. And here also you can see severe is goes to the moderate level. And here we can call it as treatment emergent AE. Because severe is not uh, going to moderate because intensity should be going to high mild to moderate moderate to severe but not severe goes to moderate if the severe goes to moderate means intensity is low so we are not call it as treatment emergent ae for this record and here also if the aestdt not equal to missing treatment not equal to missing and everything is criteria there but in case of not valid dose dose is if the dose is not there we are not considering it as a treatment emergent day because if the proof of uh, we are giving the medication means that is a valid dose in the exposure date if the valid dose is not present in the exposure date for the particular subject particular as well adverse event time we are not considering it as a treatment emergent a because in the treatment itself it's uh, it was emergent a means it should be have a valid dose the valid dose information we are getting from the exposure data set okay and otherwise we are yes this is the criteria for the treatment emergent a programming if you uh, thanks for watching the video if you like the video please like share and comment if you want more interesting SAS clinical topics as well as uh, other related information to the SAS, please subscribe my channel thanks for watching thanks for watching this video for more interesting SAS interview topics please subscribe my channel thank you